known criminals in this entire school and we have to nail him today. Can we do it? He's in the main office right now. Let's go. Alright, let's set a stakeout. Surround him, we can't run. Eric, read him his rights. You don't have any. <laughs> going to jail. Okay. You've been charged with going to the bathroom for way too long. Dude. What are you doing in there, huh? Yeah, are you jeweling? No, no, no. no he dude. was jeweling. That's not true. That's a videotaped confession. That's not true. Look at me. That's not true. That's not what it's about. But what's about? What is this? Huh? What's all this? What? What's it's, all this? It's an intervention. Come on. <laughs> dude, I'm just trying to go to class, dude. Come on. Come on, dude. Guys, stop. Dude. Stop, guys. Guys, stop. So what we're doing here is actually waiting for someone sketchy to go to the bathroom. And once they go in, we're going to camp out outside and catch them blocking out and we're going to interrogate them on what exactly we're doing in the bathroom, which is probably going to the bathroom. But, uh, do you have anything to say? I've been here for a long time. Alright, uh, this is our new rookie. Hasn't learned the ropes yet. We're going to dip his feet in the water, take him to stairwell 9. He's going to be on guard for 24 hours. Let's go. Alright, this is stairwell 9. Nothing's happened here in seven years, but we still need to keep a guard. You hear any noises? Go investigate. Got it. Follow up two. Any criminals down there? No. Okay. All right, squad. You gotta keep it nice and quiet here because it's a criminal hotbed. You see this bathroom right here? It's got a lock on it which means that any student can go in there, lock, and jewel till their face turns blue, okay? We're gonna check if anyone's in there. You're gonna have to turn the camera away. I can smell the nicotine. I'm going in. And then listen up. Here's what we know, and I know it's not much, but it's a start. We have a main dealer. We can codenamed him Mr. J. We have no clue if it's a boy, but we call him Mr. because it sounds kind of like the Joker from Batman, and he's kind of cool. We, he supplies all the jewels to the rest of the distributors, which is then distributed to the students and possibly the staff. We don't know how deep this goes. We can trust no one. So, I've come up with a five step plan in order to catch this bad guy. You ready? Step one, figure out what a jewel is. Does anybody know? The USB. I hear that a lot. Step two, find the primary dealer. Step three, set a sting. Step four, citizens arrest them. Step five, use the arrest as leverage to let the school make me graduate. Why can't we just arrest them? We're cops anyways. And we're on step one. Figure out what a jewel is. So, 
our lead scientist here and myself are going to do our best to visualize what a joule is for you. Okay, so here's what I think. I think it's the death of millions of children around the world, putting them all into nicotine-infused trances in which they slowly kill themselves through deterioration of their health. What did you get? Um, I drew a jewel like a diamond. Oh. oh. See, I thought maybe oh. the students are, le are legally selling diamonds. We got <laughs> <laughs> it's, a it's a diamond heist. It's a diamond heist. Alright, it's just going to be like... Alright, man. We need to figure out who the main dealer is. That's step number two. We're going to make a list of usual suspects. Who do we know likes rocks? Ronan Sauls. Ronan Sauls. He's at the top. Cam Benassi. Cameron Big Lips Benassi. That is very true. I heard they're so fat because he just smuggles tiny little gems in there. Huh? Or jewel. Mm. Jewel. We have our man. <laughs> Are you wearing air pods? <laughs> you want me here. You can't <laughs> know this. <laughs> Alright, now we're going to go to the Now we're going to go to Now we're going to go to step three. Um, we just said it's big. Yeah. All right, guys, it's time for step three. Cameron, uh, as he's known on the street, Big Lips Boss, Benassi, is out on the street selling diamonds, rubies, sapphires, all these other stones to everyone. Completely stoned. <laughs> That's illegal. Good God, he's <laughs> right. Why haven't we thought of this before? Big Lips Benassi has been doing this for too long. We gotta figure out a way to take him down, and I suggest that we set a sting and citizens arrest him. So, here's the plan. You, and you, you guys are gonna go walk up to Big Lips himself. I know it's scary, but we'll make sure that you're properly armed with any and all informational packets about health. And chapstick. And any and all rock polishing blankets you may need on your journey. So, you guys are gonna go up to Big Lips Benassi and say, hey man, I heard you're getting some nice rocks. Can I get a couple of them stones? And then, meanwhile, Eric and Vin, you guys are stationed in a nearby bush. We're gonna bring a bush. So, write this down. We're gonna need to buy a bush, and then we're gonna put it on Main Street. And then you guys are gonna hide in it, and then you guys are gonna go up to Big Lips, and I'm gonna stand there watching while I do workouts and get my pecs ripped. Are we ready? All right. Now. With Big Lips arrested, I know none of us have the proper credits to graduate, which means that if we arrest the school's biggest criminal and take the diamond industry completely out of RMHS, we can use it as leverage to force the administration into letting us graduate.